the most defining moment that, that I had in my training was when I was a first year resident and I was assisting with a, a complicated uh, open heart surgery procedure. I think we operated on that patient for about 28 hours and the person came in to the hospital dying and that person a few days later walked out of the hospital. And that was probably the defining moment when I really realized that I wanted to do these big, difficult, complicated, technically challenging operations. My mother was a nurse and she worked on the surgical floors. And so when I was in high school, uh, she was able to get me to shadow a few of the do docs that she worked with, one of whom was a uh, cardiologist. And so I followed him around for a few days and got to go into the cath lab with him and see what they did. And, and that really kind of made the hair on my neck stand up a little bit. I also worked as a patient transport aide um, I was the guy that would wheel the patients down to x-ray to get their x-rays taken and take them back up. I think what struck me that most back then was the gratitude that I saw the patients hold for their physicians that were taking care of them. Uh, and that really struck me. Uh, and I said, well, that's a pretty good way to be able to make a living is to help people on a daily basis. Uh, I love the mountains and I love whitewater kayaking. I just got back from uh, the Smoky Mountains with my three kids, 14-year-old triplet boys. This particular trip was was a, a bit bittersweet for me. We were down in the Smokies and doing these rapids. They're all better than me now, and that really was a knife to the gut. Uh, it, I took that hard. I'm still I'm still trying to deal with that. I understand that when people come in to see me, they're usually facing the most difficult times of their life. This is a patient with a problem. Uh, this is a person. Uh, and uh, my goal is to help them negotiate those rapids that they're about to go through.